Now I've got work to do. Hey people, um, I went out today and crossed the fish and, and everything was great, but I, I forgot to film an intro, kind of. So, we're going to do an intro from my new headquarters. Anyway, this kind of works because if none of you know yet, um, Kings Island Outfitting has purchased a new ice castle. So now we've got numero dos, um, I think that's two, um, in whatever language it would be. Um, and we possibly will have a third one very soon. Um, just sitting here doing doing some the editing for this video. We should have it out tonight, I hope. Um, and I just wanted to give a quick intro, kind of, and an introduction to this thing. We went out today and we smacked the walleye. We fished for like an hour and a half. I had clients, um, just at location services and a couple other guys that were setting up for the day. And I got the fish for an hour and a half, so it was great. Um, and we put the smack down on a couple 28s and, and a bunch of eaters. But anyways... Here is the new um, Grey Wolf Ice Castle. It's not an Ice Castle, it's a Grey Wolf, I guess, but it's I call them all Ice Castles. They're all the same. Um, we've got Jamie Bruce on the, on the TV here. Um, let me see what else. Let's flip this puppy around. You've got the... There's your... Your chilling out station. Bed up there that drops down. More storage here. As you can see, I kind of charge everything on this side. More the couch, another bed. We got all the stuff you need. The fridge, freezer, microwave, stovetop, counter, um, a Humbird unit, fireplace. Um, live scope is going to be on the TV or just over here somewhere. Um, whatever you guys pick when you rent it out. Um, and just a quick... So this intro isn't crazy long. It's a quick uh, show to the bathroom. Um, this place is unbelievable. I am so thankful for everybody that's already booked this thing up. We've had it for two days and uh, she's booking up like absolute crazy right now. So um, I'm super, super excited. We'll, we'll also have the other one that we uh, we all lived in last year. So um, let's, uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy this video and uh, if you want to, if you really want to get into this thing for the winter, get at me and uh, send us an email or you can shoot me a text at 861-0517, that's 204 in front for Manitoba. Um, but yeah, super awesome, you get four guys in here, or four people in here, sorry, and uh, split it with some buddies, have, have a great 24 hours in here or however, however long you want to have, it's so comfortable in here. I will not, it'll be hard to get me out of here. So, yeah, we'll see you on the ice. Lake Winnipeg is awesome. As you see, we were driving on it today. The fishing is unbelievable. Um, yeah, so sit back and enjoy. All right, good morning. We are out on Lake Winnipeg. As you can tell, doing a bit of, a bit of driving around. We just set up our clients. Um, they've paid for the location service, um, which is a great, uh, great starting out tool. You just, you know, you pay a certain amount of money and we drop you off in a place where we've been catching fish and we leave you alone. And uh, then we go out and scout around for the day, and uh, yeah, we uh, we'll let you know if we get into them and stuff like that, or you know, we just stay in touch. It's it's a good way to do things. I don't mind it, but yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be pretty mobile here. We're gonna get into this. Go try to get a little bit shallower here if I can. It's so foggy, I can't see a dang thing. But. Uh, I'd like to get in shallower, so we're gonna try to bounce into here. This is probably already the rodeo that I don't need to be into at the start of the year, but um, yeah. So we're gonna get into a shallower area here. We're gonna go look for some fish. I'm gonna get set up hopefully uh, 
we'll be we'll be into some some greenbacks sooner than later. It's December 23rd, I think, 22nd or 23rd. It is abnormally hot out. It is zero degrees. Um, and yeah, I, I have nothing else to say, but let's get on some fish. Follow along. <laughs> okay, well, Mark is catching fish with him, not even paying any attention. And there's another one down there. That was me just pushing record on the old camera, and uh, we got one. So that's a good sign. There's another one down there. Eater City. Eater City. <sighs> just a nice little little baby green. I'm like, man, you're saving. Oh, here comes the fish. Up, up. Come on, buddy. Yeah, blue's the best. It seems like it's, uh, I can get rid of the... It reads way better. Yeah, I got rid of the buzz. Yeah. Oh, we got two fish here. One's a nice one. Come on. Ooh, that crushed it. Real Brady. Damn, yeah. That's a little bit better. Wow, his buddy's waiting down there for him. They are inhaling this wing ding spoon right now. <sighs> easy cowboy, easy cowboy. No, they're nice. I don't know, like 20. 20, yeah, 29, no, 20. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna catch this hatless because I took my hat off. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be like it's, it says 30. Okay, well. So we got another one. Now we're going to get bombarded by other people, which is fine. It happens all the time. Shaky. Hopefully the GoPro's got this. Ooh, come on. Big, big air, big air. This is such a light, light, light. Oh no, it's pretty big. <laughs> okay. well, we didn't get that on the main cam, but we just got a big one on. Hopefully, I'm hoping the GoPro's flashing, and it is. Okay, good. Okay, <laughs> so big fish though, beautiful. We're gonna get this go right back. Yeah. There she goes. You know, I used to be the guy that got mad at people when they came near me, but like when you drive this, you're gonna have people that follow you, which is fine. Just respect, like, give us at least a hundred feet. This will be a quick video to edit if we continue this. I just don't even have to clip it. This is just one continuous video. Yeah, that's probably good though. Yeah. Come on. So I'm using the wing ding spoon, the biggest one in the Wonder Bread pattern, and uh, it is absolutely crushing from Element Custom Baits. And we've got the meathead jig on the dead stick that just caught that big one, um, just with the salty. No liveies today. So right there, that was, um, actually, I mean, realistically, by the time we got fishing, it was probably 8 o'clock on the button. It's 8.55 right now, so it's slowed down a bit. Also, I mean, we're not catching fish every two seconds now, so that was a pretty good morning right off the bat. Now is when you usually get the odd big one rolling through and you pick off a couple big ones. So now that's the goal, because we've got one big one ready today, and try to get another. We've got 
two limits. Limit it out. Which is a which is apparently a feat. Um, I'm making fun of anybody realistically, I mean, but we just kinda laugh at it because whenever people are like, we limit it out, you know, in six hours is awesome. Our standards are our standards are ridiculously high because we've lived here our whole lives and you know, for realistically, I mean four fish in six hours, I mean I would go home pretty pretty sluggish after that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have stuck around for that fourth fish. But uh to each their own. Oh, here comes a fish. Oh here comes a couple fish. This is the first fish that's kind of came to the rattle bait. This is a, that's like a better fish, I think. Oh, we crushed it and it didn't look up. It's okay, there's five fish around me now. Oh, that's a bigger one. There's competition down there. I don't want that small one. Get away from me. There's so many fish on my screen right now. Missing her. Just missing her. Not really. Not missing her at all, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Loving life. First time I actually took, I've been taking in money from the, the business and I don't have to go home and hand it to somebody else. <laughs> they make money. Yeah. Well, not really, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like it, anyways. Oh man, slipping! As you can hear, that was on the rattle bait. That was an aggressive, aggressive, aggressive fish. Holy moly. Barbless, but once it gets in this bottom stuff here, it's tough to get her out. <sighs> we'll just give you a little look. It looks tiny from that far, but that's good enough. Okay, that was good. Good release. Angle your nose this way. There you go. Doesn't like it. Hobson. Um, I don't really need to probably introduce him, but if you guys ever want to get some snow bear excursions out here, that's the guy to do it with. We work together almost every single day. Um, we're, we're in talks, and I do, I honestly, I do a few trips each year out of his bears, which is nice. Whoa, there's a fish. Jeez, right on cue. But yeah, um, definitely get a hold of Matt. He's, he's usually really, really booked up, but he's got three bears in his fleet now, which is super nice. And uh, he's got an, a great guy to Troy Barkman that's for him. And as you can hear, he's pulling away. Come on, kick your in there, bud. Great release. Love it. There we go. But yeah, Icebound Excursions is by far the best uh, option for snow bear rentals. Come on, you came out of nowhere. Set up. Now he's gonna look and see if I'm recording. Hear this fish come, he's coming up. He smoked it. That's a little bit better one. Seemed to be
be liking the rattle a little more right now. This guy here, another nice like 20 inch. Get him back. Sorry, I changed the the uh, angle on you. I'm sure you guys could probably hear me a lot better now because the wind was howling and I didn't really notice because the fishing was so crazy. Side note, I gotta plug in for frostbite guys. This new performance hoodie that they just came out with, by far the best ice fishing hoodie I've ever worn in my life. And even just comfort wise, it's got this built in like Bane mask. It's unreal. Super warm. It's got the cuffs that go around, so waterproof, waterproof. And then just pocket here, pocket here on the side. Breast pockets, you got the kangaroo pouch as normal, and then you got the zip kangaroo pouch. It's super, super warm. I strongly suggest to get one. I think they're available on our website at the Frostbite site there. I think they're like 99 bucks. It's, it's, and yeah, super worth it. Check one out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> nice. The gutter. That that one is definitely not an eater. Oh, big. On a bit on a pelican. <laughs> so powerful, sick. Oh, on the end. Good way to end the day. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I come back and I've got a big one on me here. Really big, really big. Oh, and I ripped it out of his mouth. No, it was so big. Oh, he's still there. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, it's naked though. This is big, I got a really big one on me here right now. No. Oh, he missed it. Come on. He's so fired up, this is such a big fish. Come on, come on. Come on, find it, find it, come on. Here we go, come on, this is big. There we go. <laughs> well, it's not as big as I thought. Why did it look so big? I mean, it's like 24 inches. That's a good ender fish. Right on. That's how you know you're in the shallows. Because you don't have to reel. Have to reel. But yeah. Okay. That is going to, that pretty much showcases the, uh, how sick you can do in an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> This is another 24, Mike just got like a 28. I got a 28 this morning. So, and this is a 24, we're gonna get this one back. We're gonna get some good shots with the drone and we're gonna go back to the ice castle and we'll do our outro there. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. We'll get the release on this guy and be out here. She is jacked up, see you later, girl. Whew. Dude, good kick. And one thing I will add there, so that fish came up and I missed it on the first and second try and I could tell I lost my bait. But with these spoons, you don't gotta, like if you notice you lose your bait, don't worry, just keep kicking it. Like just don't let them see it. Keep kicking it in front. They got these little Colorado blades flashes on them for a reason. And uh, if they're fired up that much, they'll eat it. So that's the, the Kingsland tip for the day. 
That's so awful, don't listen to that. I mean, listen to the tip, but don't listen to the catchy jingle. <laughs>